working on a train unit. We'll let y'all know the model serial number here in a second. But if you ever need to change the supply air temperature sensor, just where the motor is, just follow it along here. And there are the wires right there, leading back to it. I'll show you right now. So, like I said, I follow the sensor back, and then it lands right there in that little tube. So you could just come to this side and take this panel off. It'd be a lot easier, but this side has the little knobs you turn. I'll show you right now. Got the old sensor. There's the new one, new zip tie. I'm gonna turn the unit back on. We are working on an IntelliPak. Same screen as always, IntelliPak, but the, the return air temperature sensor was reading off, so. Not the first door with the supply air, it's the one behind it with the coil where the supply fan actually is. And we have found it on here, I'll show you that right now. Supply air temperature sensor, I did confirm it was 419 and 420. So that is the correct sensor, change it out. Should be good to go. Turn on right now, see what's up. Now we're reading, correct, supply air temperature input, aka temperature sensor, 55.2, perfect. Before we were in 78, and then downstairs at the VAP boxes, we're getting uh, 55, 58 degree air. So I knew that was wrong. Came up here, and like I said, not that first panel, the second one near that second drain right there. We went ahead and opened that up, and that's where the sensor was. We then changed it out. I'll show you what the sensor looks like right now. Here's the old sensor part number, and here was the old sensor. What it looks like? Just two little clips. And this little silver piece right here. 